Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the old American West that is Red Dead Bloody Redemption 2. If you guys are new around here, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe. We got a few missions to do, but there is a mission from Sean that we can do. It's a, I think it's a homestead robbery. Yeah, it is. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to see how this goes. people, Jacobites are English lovers, are they? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. And he tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was. Shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bathtub blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them. Maybe more. But I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. Freaking do it. <laughs> Them sons of bitches think they're mean. <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. I just gotta say, you like, just keep your cool, yeah? I love Irish and British accents and Australian accents. I think they're awesome. Okay, boy. I think they're some of the coolest accents, like, in the world. Right. Follow me. Like, aside with that, like, like, Caribbean accents. My grandparents are actually from the Virgin Islands, so they have Caribbean accents. My not as much my grandmother as my grandpa, but I just love those kind of accents, you know. It's a bit of a ride, not too bad. Back up north to stretch, not far from the state line. All right. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for a take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause. That's from mm -hmm. the moment I met him. You tried to kill him. <laughs> I remember the story. Right. Everybody tries to kill Dutch and when they meet him. Me around, didn't he? he saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half, other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box for his tent for then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> The fact you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. <laughs> I love anyway, Arthur. Don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes. See? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. Mm -hmm. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. <laughs> ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid. We got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too. <laughs> <laughs> now that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Nope. Didn't see him. We lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davey was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, burned me feet. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business. I agree. Me. Man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head. But you never really know what you're walking into. I agree. Yep. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. How far is it now? Not too much for them. Better be worth it. Hey, you need this, Arthur. I don't even know what I'm seeing no more. You and Dutch are deputies. 
You're out throwing lead with Sadie Adler. All right, that'll have to wait. We're nearly there. All right. Hard left coming up. Okay, right. hard left. Gonna be off the road up ahead. All right, I'm actually really ready for this. Let me just go ahead and make sure I got all my necessary equipment. Uh, my Lancaster and my carbine repeater. I could pull out the dub, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I'll pull out the dub. Why not? Pull out the dub. I'm also gonna go ahead and cover my face. Uh, we don't need nobody seeing our malicious crimes, you know? Alright. Alright. Here, I'll deal with them. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. All right. Hope you know what you're doing. So we got to keep one alive. Okay. So I cannot just shoot them all, unfortunately. Did I grab the right repeater? Carbine. No, I think I think it's actually the Lancaster repeater I wanted to grab. Damn it. All right, now I'm stuck with this pea shooter. There's one of them outside. This is good. It is. Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. Okay. I'm gonna go up by those logs. This should be really fun. I'm gonna hide out by these logs. He does look like a nasty son bitch. Hey there. Whoa. I'm gonna give you and your dad five seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, we don't want no trouble. We just thought you might like to know we passed a big posse alarm and headed this way. There were a dozen of them coming up east. What? Where? Right here. Ah. Heads up, Arthur. Here come the rest of them. Oh my goodness. We got more coming out of the woods. Do we? Oh, we do. Got him. Here, you deserve. You deserve both my shots. You deserve both my shots. Nice and easy. You saw what we did to your pals here. All right, we got to keep him alive. Okay, okay, I give up. Don't shoot. I ain't armed. If you want to leave, you'll tell me where that money's stashed. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. We'll keep an eye on sunshine here. We'll move the hell out the goddamn way. Move the hell out of the way, you fat ass! Get the hell out of here, and don't look back. Why would you let him go, stupid? Okay, in the wall, remove plank, okay. Hey, this is more like it. Okay. Good work. Hey, what about my car? I found a place, didn't I? Alright, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right. Don't need the lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. Sure. Never know what folks got stashed. <laughs> Just got a few other places out there. Like I'm going to go ahead and uh, loot this place some more because uh, I have a feeling there's more stuff here. You never know. Ooh, a dub action revolver? Let's go. All right, there's a money clip. Nice. Bro, we're getting really lucky here. Okay, there's some revolver cartridges. Love to see it. Well, they got a lot of crap here. What the heck? There's a cigarette card there. I don't really care much for the cigarette cards, to be honest. There's some moonshine. Love the moonshine. All right. Let's see what else there is here. Salted meat, okay. Some Kentucky bourbon. I can't take any uh, because I already have some. All right. I think that's about all there is to see here. 
Let me just loot these guys. Oh shoot, there's people coming. There's people coming. Let's get out of here. Okay, boy. Let's get out of here. There's people. So now we have a new double action revolver. Let's go. We're gonna have to clean our guns. Um, we'll do that in a bit. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and ride out to the next mission. And uh, I'll see you guys there. All right, so we are here at Caliga Hall. Orders. You wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property. Okay. Recently deputized, you see. Deputized? Then I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it. Look, you can come in, but you ain't talking with me. Obliged. All right, let's go ahead and uh, do our thing. Let's go ahead and drop the mask. You might be our dumbest deputy yet. That's not very nice. Let's go up and uh, talk to this woman. Let's see what's going on here. Are they following me? They're not following me. Excuse me. Hello. Hello. Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the Alrighty. time in the world. Speak to Bo. Alright, let's get over there. I don't know if we should really be prancing around on our horse around here, but... You know, we do, we do what we want. Alright, so he's down here by the wood store. Can I go in here? I can. Oh, no, I can't. Let me see. Where is he at? He's around here somewhere. Maybe he's around back. Yeah, he is here. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here. And suddenly, there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. <laughs> the thing is... I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Grays have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Mm -hmm. Beyond blind loyalty, and stupidity. I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We grays, we've always got money. No brains mine, but money. Well, hmm. in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Alrighty then. Got a job to do, ladies and gentlemen. Sneak into the grounds around the Braithwaite Manor. Where the hell's my damn horse? Where's my goddamn. Oh, okay, there he is. All right, so we got to sneak Boy. into the place, sneak into the grounds around Braithwaite Manor. All right, let's see what we can actually do here. I'm not even sure what that is. Like I said, I have played the story mode for Red Dead Redemption, but it's been a while. All right, so let's get over there. I think we do have to sneak in and... I will see you guys when I get there. Yep. Yep. I don't want to talk about it. Okay, so we're here now. And I'm struggling to figure out exactly 
what I'm supposed to be doing here. So I have to sneak into the grounds of the Brayfoy Manor. I'm not sure where exactly I'm supposed to go. This music is a little bit distracting. I'm not sure where exactly I'm supposed to go, but I, there's security guards, I think, everywhere. Sneak past the guards to Penelope. I don't see any guards. This is concerning. Let me see. So apparently there's one over there. I don't see the guards. Like, I actually don't see any guards. So I'm hoping this is going to be as smooth as I want it to be. Let's see, it's, it's so misty. As soon as I see some guard, okay, I see one dot. So there's one over there. I have to keep my map expanded. There's one over there. I want the map stay expanded. Okay, he's gonna continue looking that way. I just gotta make sure I'm goody. Oh, okay. He's looking this way now. Okay, there's another guard up ahead that way. Okay, I actually see him. Okay. She's straight ahead. Okay, he's turned his back. Maybe we can go this way now. Okay, he's turned. Okay, they both turned their backs. Let's see if I can uh, sneak across. Okay, there's another one looking this way at me. I have to take over behind this bell. Oh god. Um This is not good. Okay, he's gonna turn away. I don't know if they can see me in the bushes, can they? Um this is gonna be a little bit tough. Oh property. Oh dear. You ain't working for the brave. Um, sneak past the guards to the to Penelope. Okay, maybe there's a different way I can go around, like over this way. Let's see. Okay, there's one guard. Okay, all three of those guards are there. Let's see if maybe I go this way. So that one guard is right there. So there's one guard looking that way. Okay, as soon as he turns around, we can probably go over that. Go over to that tree. Okay, go over to that tree. Okay. Let's see. Probably make it over the gate. Yeah, there's a guard at this house over here. Okay, there's a guard at this house. I don't have a visual on him, but I know he's there. Okay, let's go ahead. Okay, should be good for right now. Let's go ahead and get over this fence. Okay, this guy doesn't look like he moves, so we should be good. Get over this fence. Let's keep on going over here. Now, is there guards over here? I don't see any right now. I think we should be good, right? Okay, there is a guard over here. We gotta look out for that. Okay, she's over there. Okay. Okay, he's all the way over there. So we should be okay. I'd hope so. 
I don't know if he walks over here. I don't think he moves either. We should be good. Hello there. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> A letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange. I hope I don't have to sneak out. also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages or... Well, I don't know. Cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out... They'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. <laughs> Ohio means in 2018. No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. Hmm. You got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. <clears throat> I don't. I, well, maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, <laughs> will you give this to him? I was like, really? Sure. Do I have to sneak out? Leave the area without being seen. Oh, Red Dead, you gotta be kidding me. Gotta be kidding me, Red Dead. Alright, maybe I can leave without being, without uh, going the same way I went. Hopefully. It's not showing the dots on the map anymore, so I have no clue where anybody is. But I can only assume that they're in the same spots that they were in. When I was originally doing this. My entire map is red. And there's no dots on the radar. Alright, let's just see if we can do this. I really have no clue how this is going to go. But all we got to do is take it slow. We got to be careful. Um, we got to be sneaky. I don't see any guards. So I'm hoping we just leave the way we came in. And we'll be good. I'm really hoping. Imagine she could just say, hey guards, can you guys let this guy out? Okay, I do see that one guard. So I, 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 can, I think it's safe to assume that they're all in the same spots, right? I think it's safe to assume that. That guard's right there like usual. I think it's safe to assume we can leave out this way actually. Hopefully. Okay, yeah, he's gonna turn around now. I think we can just book it, honestly. Honestly, I think we just book it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Take it a little bit slow here. Oh, I could take an apple. Honestly, I'm just gonna book it off the property. I'm just gonna book it off the property. I'm just gonna make a run for it. I don't know if there are any guard. Oh my god, there's a guard right there. There's a guard literally standing right there. He's quite literally standing right there. Is the whole map red for this mission? Or is just. Oh my, bro, it's so huge, this freaking circle. Okay, well, we're almost to the end. We're almost to the end here. We should be okay. If I just if I just run, I don't think he'll turn around. Yeah, we we we're fine. Give Penelope's letter to Bo. They're really making us do the dirty work here, aren't they? Horsey, can you hurry the absolute fuck up? All right, so I'll see you guys when we get back to Bo. Hey, you jackass. You got my money? <laughs> sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. 
Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. <laughs> it'll cost you. Uh, I can't be bothered. <laughs> Take. Oh, Arthur's you, like, Arthur. I don't even give a rat's ass oh. anymore. Thank you. I love Arthur. He's like, oh I don't God. even give a damn. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They bring back the monarchy given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mr. You gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Arthur's like, I gotta deal with this damn crap. Mount your horse. I'm a jackass. I'm gonna literally take him back to the stable and name him Jackass. All right, here we go. We'll go around the property and take the road to town. All right. Here we go. So I guess I'll talk to you guys when we get there. Actual hell? Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. Do what? <laughs> what do you want me to do? We must begin. Leave me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Oh, dear. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally, I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one. What has he gotten himself into? He's a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. Drive to the bank. We'll mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the now, food now. and we fetch the water. Take us down we Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick. I'm surprised he didn't give Callahan. We need them to hear our voice. All right. We'll hear it, all right. The suffrage, the suffrage, very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm uh, just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I love how all the guys are walking out just like, what the hell? Be delivered recently, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. It's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Okay. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Wow. Okay. Do give it a rest, you sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, why is that one lady moving at one FPS? I know you guys can't see her, but. Yeah, a pretty dumb specimen, I grant. A little further, 
please stop just past the bed. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies, get down! Come on, 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 come Gentlemen, yeah. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. For today is the day we begin to live as equal. Equal! Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Fair, equal, and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Yeah. 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 Founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers. <laughs> Silly old goat. Who's the fat ass? His philosophy hey. dependent on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. Oh, dear. Stop them from ruining the speech. <laughs> you need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always will. Bo, where don't we just leave him? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, right? Or what? You'll hit me? Oh, Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Not your horse. We gotta go before they think twice. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. They following us? Hey, you better not be following us, fat ass. All right, let's go, Bo. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? Now tell me that again. I ain't voted before, but I'm kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. <laughs> sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Uh -huh. Secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. Mm -hmm. but I don't know. Well, this is not... Well, this is nice. This is the damn battlefield. There are trenches here. What the hell this happened? Is awful. Nobody died. It ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but you should leave. I will as soon as I have enough money. When my family, we have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so, but. Uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic temperament, so. Well, is that what they call it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you made I a thought Arthur almost doesn't care. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. You later, homeboy. What he's gonna? Di yeah, I knew he's just gonna disappear as soon as like he gets out of the shot. Yeah. All right, so we do have another mission here that we're gonna go ahead and do. I think it's an Abigail mission. Yeah, I have an Abigail Roberts mission, and then there's a Molly O'Shea mission. Well, I need to speak to you. All right, well, let's go do the Molly mission. And I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, we're here back at camp, and there's an Molly O'Shea. Oh, there he is. There she is, Molly O'Shea. Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh, Arthur, 
How is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now... I can risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so. <laughs> but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? <laughs> you too, Charles. Will what you be my other fool? Talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Hey, I'll do it. <laughs> as long as you ride with us. <laughs> I got a serious medical condition. Yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. I hardly know you. You should do this. It's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but... Very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. <laughs> you are a sick man, Arthur. I love Arthur. Arthur. A very sick man indeed. All right, let's freaking do it. Such a smart Alex. Let me just make sure I got all my right weapons. Oh, I can't do it while in camp. Well, there we go. I just fed my horse. I didn't even mean to do it. Okay. Okay. Okay, now I can pick my weapons. So, uh, carbine repeater, and should I do the rolling block rifle? Let's do the bow. I like the bow. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee high to a grasshopper. <laughs> once a decade, maybe. So what is you scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the roads. <laughs> okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Uh, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ sakes. Huh. I should be due any time now. Okay, then. It's quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. He's right. There. Ooh, there it is. See, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. Uh -huh. Alright, let me take out my... Actually, I'm not going to take out anything yet. Stop the wagon! I said, stop the damn wagon! Oh. Now, don't try anything stupid! And we won't do anything unkind. You know, boys, I... I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is I'm doing this with a police badge on. for Cornwall kerosene and tar. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. All righty. Rob the wagon. Can I get my shit off my horse? Stop taking my shit off of me. Where's my bow? There we go. This would be a lot quicker if someone helped me. Yeah, I'm coming, jackass. Okay, we got a lockbox. I really gotta pick up a lock picker. Okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! Think I see something! Oh, great. Let's oh, go, dear. Let's go! Yeah! 
Oh, run, run, run. Run, goddammit. Escape pursuers with the gang. Let me just take out my repeater just in case I need it. Oh, we're getting away with it, all right. <laughs> He's like the most guarded wagon ever. Are they? How did they catch up to us that goddamn quick? Oh my gosh. Holy. Got him. Let's go. We just gotta get the frick out of here. Please, horsey, don't run out of stamina. Horse bonding maximum, nice. Health increase to level six. Stamina level six, nice. I can't take it off my horse. There we go. Oh, he tells us horse I'll see you later. Stay until dark, then we'll sneak out of here. That's that's so cute. He says he he tells us horse I'll see him later. Well, we uh, get some rest. Uh, yeah. Bro, I love it. Let's try and get I love how here. Charles didn't sleep. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. I ain't in there. Let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? Why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Hey, hey, tell me what you heard. I don't... Uh, maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Oh, dear. Hey, me. Oh, gotta not be. All right. Coop forth. Low. Go check out the, the barn. Uh, sir. Oh, dear. They're coming. This is bad. Keep hidden. This is bad. B A D. Bro, my blood is pumping, dude. Well, the place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go around the back. God damn. Place looks empty to me. Now, the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Holy shit. Oh, oh dear. How did you guys mess this up? Give him hell, boys. You're in a situation here. I got this, Uncle. We got more of the bastards on this side. Hey, you glad now I insisted you come along? Oh, this is it. I'm officially retired. <laughs> He's like, I'm retired. I'm gonna kill his horse. I just killed his- Oh, and then killed him as he was falling off of it. Oh, 
Bro, we almost got away with it too. We goddamn nearly got away with it. Got him. Where's he at? You know what? Throw some dynamite out there. Dead eye runs out too quickly sometimes. Shit. Fire. What? Oh dear. This is not good at all. Go oh, die. How about we stop robbing Cornwall for a while? I didn't know we was robbing Cornwall. Yeah, how does how does Cornwall own everything? Ha. Ha. There we go, finally. Get out of here soon. We're um, I need shit for my dead eye. Tonic. There we go. Oh my gosh. Why can't I move? Come on, Bill. You got this. Come on, Arthur. I mean, I would come on if you guys would move the hell out of the goddamn way. Let's head to the woods. Run, bitches, run! Into the tree. Come on. Holy! Can I take something else? Uh, my cores are like dead. Eat salted beef. I need something else. Uh, what can I eat? Let me find Brandy. Alright, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Alright. Feels <laughs> like. Alrighty. Get behind the rocks, Arthur. They're coming this way. Perfect. We need to do this quietly. You two. No. Right, okay. You're right. Right. Here we go. Oh my god, I actually I didn't mean to stand, I swear. Make your peak. You're dead. Well, you're dead. Uh oh. Sounds like they got some trouble over there. Oh dear. Bro, all because I freaking stood up on accident. Help Charles and Bill. His horse is gonna pay. His horse is gonna pay. His horse paid for it. There we go. No! What? No! No! You gotta be kidding me, bro! You have got to be kidding me! Bro, there's no way. Damn it, dude. Come on. 
All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. One more chance, one more opportunity. Oh, let's me start from here. Okay, maybe we can do this the right way then. They're coming this way. Perfect. We need to do this quietly. You take the left and I'll take the right, okay? Your right or my right? Oh, they're running, bro. You see anything? Not yet. Cornwall ain't gonna be happy. Bastard! Get the hell off me! What do I? Well, boy, you having fun yet? Shoot him, Arthur! What the hell? He shot the sh he punched the hell out of me. Made a me feel out of that, didn't you? Well, just stay in there, why don't you make it a little bit? I didn't I didn't even know what to do. Guess we should go give him a hand. I'm not dying to y'all again. Not again. I refuse. Tell y'all, don't bring y'all horses around me. They will suffer the consequences. All right, you asked for it. Your horse will suffer. Why don't you walk I warned you. I warned you, your horse would suffer. You just have every bullet in my gun. I'm taking them all. I need to refill my dead eye and shit. Kentucky bourbon. There we go. Uh, what else can I use? Provisions. Are we done? Oh, there's apparently one more guy left. He can die too. Here we go. We all still alive? Yeah, just about. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got Cornwall on our back. It was an yeah. honest mistake. Hey, leave it. Go on, get out of here. Every man split up. Go on, run quick. Good luck, Jens. Stay quiet and move. Alrighty. Nice. Okay. So I think it's time we get the hell out of here because, um... Yeah, we're in some serious trouble now. Come on, horsey. Yep. Let's go, boy. All right, so we actually have another mission. We're gonna probably do one more, and uh, it's down here. It's a Lenny mission. Lenny needs to speak to you, and then there's Abigail. Abigail needs to speak to you. Okay, so we'll go ahead and go do those, and then we'll probably wrap it up. So I'll see you guys there. Hi, Abigail. Hey, Arthur. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. Oh, dear. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. <sighs> Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. All right, so now we have a Hosea mission. Well, I guess that was, <laughs> guess that was Abigail's only mission. So this is the part in our story where we saved the game. I guess not because it's locked. <sighs> Alright, well, is there can we shave? Can we like get a haircut or something? Yeah, let's shave and kill. Let's let, let, let's let's treat ourselves like man. Alright, pomade hair. Let's do that. We can uh we can do a we can do a bit of a trim job. There we go. There we go. Oh, this is looking nice again. Okay, can we save our game now? Yes we can. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys did what you enjoy, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe with the bell, and I'll catch you in the next one.